of the artist yes. that's sitting in front of me has dropped a album and the album is called maestro we spoke to him on the phone maybe yes. a couple of weeks ago right right and what i really like and, and and you know what what really makes us feel energy here around artists is when them promise for coming at the studio and, and then actually, actually show up in at the studio uh, so now i know that this man is again. A, i know that this man is a busy man yes. right yes. and he was scheduled to be here with us for the whole show but we got a little of his time and we yeah. got to appreciate the fact that we have a little bit of his time <laughs> right right, right? The so, album so, is so, called The Maestro. So, so, are you going to I'm announce no, who's in the building? No, we now got... Ma- oh, let me tell you. It. Let, let me all tell right. you how we are going to announce who's right. in the building. All right. All right. Because from, from what they are seeing, yeah. this is a bridge where we've been following his music. Yes. Right? But for some reason, every time his name comes up, right. the first thing that comes to my mind is, I want Big Bunty Girl, me a wine baka. Because that's the song. It's the song now. It's the song now. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the song. You know what I mean? Listen, it, I'm going to be honest with you. It's the first me or Chin sing a song like that. Like, yes, and you know, I don't sing those so, songs. Okay. For you to motivate to be singing. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but that's the vibe. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it, it just gives you a different vibe, right. man. Right. Big up Kimani Mali. He's in the studio, man. Thank you so much right. for, for fulfilling that promise Yo, of coming, coming in the studio. You, man? Give thanks. Give thanks for having me. How's the new music doing? Ah, new music, new music going good in an album I drop what June thirtieth. Have a release party June twenty ninth at LPR. So if you know what I mean, if you're not too busy, seen. But I love your presence. Um, but yeah, but you know, it's been a while. It's been a while. The music is good. Production is good. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited at this moment to be to be releasing this album in this particular time. Too. Why, why, why excited in this time though? Because you've always been making good music. What's so special yeah, about I mean, this time? I guess the growth. You know what I mean? It's been a while. We've been around for quite some time now. You know, working on the craft and, and, and trying to master the craft while trying to, you know, create this sound that, that identifies you as an artist, me as an artist. You know what I mean? So I feel as though we are, we are at that mark. You Interesting. Know? This, yeah. Interesting because for you to say that you've been trying to master... Yeah. It, it, was there one time that you weren't as comfortable with, 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 your, with your career? Has that been, um, been the case in the earlier days where you felt like, well, I just need to grow more and I need to be better at what I'm doing? Well, we always can be better. So that is always, you know, a part of the thought process. See? For me, even now. You know what I mean? Now is, 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 is the, 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 my thought process is how to make the next album better than the last album. Because, you know what I mean? As long as we're here, there's room for growth. How do you feel you've grown? Over the years? Um, growing in many ways, you know, life, life, life teaches us a lot of lessons and through our mistakes we learn and, you know what I mean, through our struggles we learn and, you know, for me it was just really about, you know, researching, being a, being a fan and a lover of music first and foremost and, you know, listening to what we've done in the past, listening to where the music is now and just trying to be, you know, being, just trying to be better, trying to be a, 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 a innovator, trying to be a, a creator and not just, you know, I guess falling in line what is what would be typical, you know what I mean, or what people expect, but trying to to stay true to the legacy while while being me, you know what I mean? Isn't that hard for you though? You know, I don't know, I mean, I, I always one of them, I don't I mean, I really care what people think, you know, I mean, just do me. Because the Get High song that, I was, life. that I was just singing, yeah. when, when I first heard it, I was like, okay, he said that, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Kimani said that. Say, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and after we got over the fact that it was a Kimani song, right? it was cool. You know what I mean? It was cool. So, so, so how so does that affect you, you know, you know, you know in your so career? Is there expectations and lines that you shouldn't cross as a Mali? There are lines that I will not cross. But me saying that, I don't, I don't see where the, you know, I don't see the line in that. Because at the same time, for some me feel, if me go out and I some me feel that is my vibe, that is my energy, then why I make can't speak it? See? Then I'm being a fake. You know what I mean? So it's always important for me to be true to myself. You know, while being true to, to, to my spirituality and while being firm within the legacy. You know what I mean? But like I said, yo, we have this one life for living and we don't know what is next. So the only thing I can do is be me and just give it to you real and right. If you love it, you love it. If you don't like it, hey. I saw it go. Seems like people have been liking it so far. I hope, yeah. But I hope I, so. <laughs> Kimani, I got to ask you this, though, because you're coming from, you know, the, the, the strongest legacy in our music that represents our music. Because when you mm. hear 
about reggae, you hear about your legacy, right? Right. Um, has there ever been a time where you were writing a song and you wanted to say or uh, express and you, you, you held back just because of? Or have you always been pen to paper, whatever works, works? Always. always. Anybody who listens to me know that. Interesting. You know what I mean? Always. Always. You know, um, I'm from very, you know, I say it all the time, I wrote a book, Dear Dan. But I'm from very humble beginnings. You know what I mean? So I, I experience some real life. You know what I mean? We experience some life. Uh, I'm going to tell you some people, so when me leave Jamaica, you know, from a board house, a two-bedroom board house with nine people are living in it, and here's some I move to America and get all excited and realize I'm still in a, a two-bedroom board house, but worse than the one I'm left at Jamaica. <laughs> some people think that joke, but I go through some real-life experiences. So when we speak, we speak passionately. We speak about my experience. You know what I mean? We speak about the things that I've faced. And I speak about who I am. You know, my mother raised me as a rebel, as a soldier. You know what I mean? I tell people, you know, f as a youth growing up, when I hear about all oh, oh, them, oh, them things, like, um, Little Miss Muffet and them things, I get them bedtime story there. You know, my story was always about the Cold War or about Fidel Castro or about Stephen Beak or about... Those were my bedtime stories. So I grow with that kind of energy and the spirit there, you know what I mean? So sometimes the music, the music reflects that. As well as, uh, you know, I love the ladies, so I write love songs as well. See, <laughs> do, do you think that there's any difference with, 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 with you because you were born, well, not born, but you grew up outside of Jamaica? Do you think that that has a different effect on your, your outlook? Yeah, man, absolutely. Absolutely. Different environment, you know, being exposed to a lot of different things. You know, so when, when I left Jamaica um, as a youth, eight years old, you know, I'm from a little countryside where, you know, you get up and everybody knew everybody and, you know, it's one big community. And I moved to Miami in the inner cities of Miami, Liberty City, across the street. <laughs> we live directly across the street from, from what is known as a crack house. So I wake up and I go to bed to, to this environment. I wake up and go to bed to the police on the block. You know what I mean? I wake up and go to bed to, to shooting and them kind of things. So of course that, that weighs on your life. You know what I mean? That becomes a part of who you are. You, 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 you become a product of your environment. Now it's up to you whether you're going to be a good product <laughs> or you're going to be a waste product. You know but, what I mean? But you give thanks for growing that way, correct? Yeah, I do. Because, um, you know, I think during the time while we we're going through these issues, through these trials and tribulation, um, you know, I grew, I don't want to say bitter, but I grew with a little chip on your shoulder and you know, knowing, you know, nah, what your legacy is and, you know, not, it don't really match up with your environment. And, you know, for a while I was, yeah, I'm bitter. I'm going to get some trouble. You know what I mean? Rebellious youth. I grew with a mother and grandmother and auntie and... But now when I reflect on it, now at this point of my life, if I had to do it over, and I, and, I, and I really mean it when I say it, if I had to do it over and I had the choice, I would do it all the same again. You know what I mean? It was just two days ago I was speaking to someone and saying it, it's, it's ironic how some of the sweetest memories I have in my life was when we never have nothing. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. But some of my most joyful memory was, was back in that time. You know what I mean? Where we didn't have much but a lot of love. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if I had to do it over, I'd do it, I'd do it just the same. Kimani Molly's in the building. For those of you who are listening, Sound Chat Radio, big up to everybody, of course, who's in the chat room. Those of you who's in the WhatsApp. Let's talk about the music because the music is hitting hard. It, to me, you kind of change the style up a little bit. <laughs> it, 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 are, are you feeling that way? or After, like I say, you know what I mean? We start off by. Wanting to be an interview, you, you, you can't become great by following someone else's blueprint. Yeah, so you have to create your own blueprint. And for me, my journey has been about that. It's, a, it's, it's been about finding my, 
making that signature. You know what I mean? So when you hear come on, you know it's come on the right half I back, you don't really have to guess about it. Uh, you, do you feel you in the driver's seat now? No, I drive. <laughs> you feel like you you know, as far as the driving the Kimani, you know, the Kimani vehicle or driving Kimani's career. Are you finally comfortable with sitting in that driver's seat? Well, I'm in the driver's seat comfortable now. You get comfortable, you get complacent. And so I try not to get too comfortable. Not yeah, so sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and come out of bed and just sleep on the floor. Trying to be too comfortable. How, <laughs> how much time are we still in, spending in the studios these days? Or, 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 you know, well, no, going on the road now in July, you know, the tour, this um, promotional tour on this new album. But, you know, for me, you know, whenever I have some time off, you know, I, I, that's my favorite place to be, is creating. Yeah. Are you still just doing, are you just solely doing music now or are you still doing the acting and other stuff as well? Um, yeah, we have some projects in the pipeline as far as the acting, my acting career is concerned. Um, you know, I took some time out to focus on creating the album, you know, um, making sure that the production was right and the lyrical content was right. And it'll take some time now to tour it, so hopefully by the end of the year, early next year, we can get into the next um, film project. Wow. Come on, um, in the building. Let's let, let's 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 listen one of his, yeah, his, let, his let, let, creation in the the, 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 the studios right now. <laughs> one of them big creations. <laughs> He's here. Come on, let's talk about the vibes behind this song. <laughs> yes. The vibes behind this song. <laughs> did did you act, did you actually have a big battle girl in the studio <laughs> while I read the song of cars? The man does <laughs> Someone where the yeah. inspiration you, come you, from, you know what I mean? You, you, you know, Life. like more, more, <laughs> more time you 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 hear a song, and yeah. it connects with you because the song is just so real. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah. and this is one of those songs where, as a as a man, you know what I mean. And maybe not me, maybe not Ninja, but uh, you know, man, would I hear that and say, "Yo, yeah. that bad." Yeah. yeah, just because it's 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 a manly song. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. it's a very yeah. manly song. <laughs> so, and when I first heard it. At first, I was like, mm. that sounds like Kimani, but that's not Kimani. <laughs> you know what I mean? But talk to me about the, the, the vibe of the song and how you put it together and what, what's mean, the vibe it's, so it's, far? It's just a space, you know what I mean? Um, New York City, man, at the time, actually. And we did just write, we did just finish recording the next song. I think the song was my um, next song off the album called Fancy Things. And... You know, and I look something else at the same time. So this 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 producer bring up this track here. It wasn't quite like that. You know what I mean? And we listen to this track, but being that we are trying to find something to, you know, record all right to end up I cut up the track while I'm of formulated like that and I mean there are vibes with a youth named Germs. <clears throat> Jermaine from out there. Uh, where Germs are in uh, Brooklyn uh. And the vibe just come up, it's just one of them things there, you know what I mean? It's just you know, usually I let the production speak you know and i just listen and and and, and find the words to put you see know what i mean so usually i say it go for me usually the production dictates what you know what the what 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 the words what the melodies what the song will be about what has been the fa the, the, the 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 feedback from from high from get get uh, yeah man it's a go on well man jamaica played um regular and i dance all it a play it again are you surprised at the success or and and, and, and and same thing when you said to you. It's like when the mirror them not expect say yeah. they would I get that from me. But yes. I mean I get the big deal, you know. What no, mean? no, when but you're not gonna get the big deal. Because that's the problem. You know, you know, you're not gonna get the big you know, deal. You're not gonna get the big deal. You know, it's like when people are, you know, and, and of course, this is why I understand what some of the artists saying that they no longer want to be put in boundaries. And I wanna ask you that question as well, right? Um, because we say, damn, Kimani said that, but mm. we still also have to admit that, but yeah. the reason why we may say, boy, Kimani is based on the legacy, based on we, we, you know, most people hear Mali and they hear, you know, cultural, Rasta, you know, revolutionary. It, it, it's, it's the things that come there. Right. But, but at the same time, yourself and some of your brothers are now <clears throat> breaking that barrier by making music that you can still vibe to and rock to yeah. that that doesn't break any morals right but it's just that we're not used to that when i say we i'm speaking about the general public that's so surprised right not used to you guys being so outside of the box and you know being mm. one of us then 
No, what do you mean? <laughs> what this is what it is. <laughs> no, but, but all right. But the but thing you, is this. You right. understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, what I said. But all right, check this. You as a natty walk down the street and you see a nice, lovely lady pass by and she have a round, she have a, she have a, a big body. Mm-hmm. And you're bridging a boy, you know, say, yo, look how her body big. Ah, yo, I'm a big body girl. So the fact that you will say it, you know what I mean? Why can I say it? But it's a problem if I'm going to sing about it. Interesting. You know what I mean? Good point. Yeah. Enough people who I say, well, yo, I am said that, but... You know, your day-to-day life, I got through them same little things. Like, Yo, look at her body fat. Not a big deal. I, I think because people are saying that you're a Mali. Yeah. And the expectation for, of you. This is what I'm well, saying. They, they, they put they you in the box. Yeah, they put you in a, in a box. Like, you know, this right. shouldn't be said and this shouldn't be said. You know, but they don't realize that you're a Mali. What's nothing wrong with that? All <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the They don't use the other B word. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't. You know right, what I mean? Right. Because that is over the boundaries. Right. right. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. But that's what I think it is. I just think that, you know, there, there are certain boundaries set for you. True. You know, and, and I'm sure you face them due to the fact that people are surprised that you say certain things such right. as that. Right. Um, so let me spiral into, into this question. Quite recently, we've been speaking to a lot of reggae artists yeah. that are now saying that they don't want to be called reggae artists anymore. <laughs> they would just like to be called artists. You know, I think, I start, I think I me start a revolution. Then. Oh, so, so you are part of that? From a long time. Because I saw me start out. When I saw my first album, The Journey, it was not a reggae album. You know, you know what I mean? It was very crazy. That's the, 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 the hip-hop feel, it had the, 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 the dance all thing. And so for me... I think the first album was where I received the most slack. Because, you know, coming out with the first album and everybody have the expectation. It's Marley, so they're listen out it's to reggae. one drop. Right? Yeah. It's reggae, it's this, is that. And then, when it's not that, everybody have something for say. But if it was that, then it would have something for say too. You know what I mean? Because then the talk would be, well, much I be like him father. You know, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So from, so from day one, for me, it was just, just be true to who I am. You know what I mean? So, me as a youth come from Jamaica... Raising in the inner cities of Miami, you know what I mean? Exposed to a, 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 a lot of genres of music, you know? When me just move to Miami, my mother buy me a boombox. <clears throat> and me come to America, I think it's one radio station the same way. So the first radio station I tuned into was actually a, a, like a soft rock station. So for like the first six months of my life in Miami, a beer soft rock me I listen to. And fall in love with that genre of music too, until me discover hip-hop. Now, the first artist for me was um, Ran DMC. The first song that got me exposed was uh, UB Ellen. And from that, you know what I mean, I become a hip-hop junkie as well, but always a fan of music, totally. You know what I mean? I tell a man, say, in my, in my iTunes right now, yeah, you can't find a crane, you maybe find some cartel. Of course, you're going to find some Bob, but then you'll find a Kenny Rogers. And then you'll find, like, a Led Zeppelin. You know what I mean? So, it's about the music, brother. So I've always been one to say, I don't want to be in a box of being labeled as uh, just a reggae musician. Yeah, I sing reggae music. That is the root. But I sing other music as well. Ex- explain to me the dangers of being put in that box. Because everyone has their own <laughs> reasoning for not wanting to be in that box. Some people belong in the box. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but if you are one that belongs, that is outside of the box. I mean, if you are an artist that doesn't solely do reggae music, then you shouldn't be labeled just as a reggae musician, you know, because the, 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 that box become now when that artist gives you something else. It's almost like you, you, you don't appreciate it because I don't know you as, as that. a rapper. I don't know you as a... And so sometimes we don't even take time to listen to the song, to listen to the quality of the song, to listen if you even like it. You know what I mean? Because that, that, that stigma is there on you. But, you know, so for me, and that's why for me it's always been important just to, to do what come natural. You know, this album has have 12 tracks on it. And we have a deluxe album with five more tracks. And the five more tracks on this album is like um, where reggae meets, soft rock meets, you know, that almost that alternative feel. So for me it's about the music, my brother. And no, it's about no, the no, no, no limits. No so limits. You, so you... you if you do a collaboration yeah. with a, a pop star, mm-hmm. and this is a very interesting question that we have 
conversation that we have here at, in, in the station. Mm -hmm. Do you represent reggae as the featured artist or the, 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 you know, the second half of the combo? Or do you represent whatever genre? Uh, you know, funny, we usually like to represent the root, you know. You represent the root? Yeah. So if you so represent if, the if, root... If, if I go do something, because if I go do something, well, if I go do something with a, with a pop artist, that means I'm already bringing something different to the board. Right. You know what I mean? Something I need to go pop with him again. Right. You know what I mean? We need something now to go against the grain. Mm. And it's, it's not necessarily about me. First, first and foremost, I would, I, would, I would represent the root. You represent the root? Yeah. Kimani Man is in the building. The song, the, 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 the album is called Maestro. It is going to be released on June 30th, which is what? Next week, maybe right. Tuesday. Monday, I, Tuesday. I, I, I yeah. came across a nice song from you, right? Yeah. When I hear this song, Mr. Chin, that song, yeah, shot. Which one? Man? All the way. All yeah, that song, yeah. bad. So bad, bad song. piece of song. <laughs> bad. I want to make it more bad as on the vibes. video. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, that song, yeah, bad. <laughs> nah, bad. Kimani, like, yeah. and, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but it's no. like, to me, it's like, you just start. Wrong with that. It's, it's, yeah. it's like you just it's start. Because, no. <laughs> come on, normally, I love it. normally you throw a one thump and then we don't hear from you. Yeah. And you throw a yeah. next one thump and we not. But it's but now like, you throw a double thump. You throw a thump now. Really. <laughs> 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 this one is called All the Way. That one, you're bad people. Soundtrack Radio Live. Come on, he's in the yeah. studio. <laughs> It's a different vibe, as you say. Yeah. But it's still hitting hard. Yeah, music. Still good music. Give thanks. And and and, and it, it just shows the growth that you've been you've been talking about, you know. And Give and and, so and, and I I respect the fact that you're so humble to say that um, you know, you don't ever want to be comfortable in that driver's seat. No. But I would want to say that you have reached the point that you're driving without your seatbelt, so you're not as comfortable, <laughs> but you're driving. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm never my highly as my seatbelt. <laughs> 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 you know, um, I'm looking forward to the album. The album is called Maestro. Um, it, it, it's, you're somewhere where I didn't expect you to be. And when I say didn't expect you to be, it's like you're out of the box, out of what we, we expect from Kimani Mali. <laughs> and, and I'm loving it. it. It's good energy, good vibes. Um, right. One thing that I would like, though, yeah. and um, we don't get to see this with, with, with your siblings, but I don't know if we can get this with you but just to be more reach out and touch man you know I, yeah, and I'm in that street, reach out you know. that reach out and touch you know yeah, man, we, we man. would like to see yeah, yeah. you at some of our local venues and I'm you know doing something. what you do you know what Anderson, man? Come on, uh, invite me <laughs> <laughs> well hear what invitation right now is there yes because the, the invitation the, is the there yeah, the material so, is there yeah, yeah, tell you. The, the material is there where where you know that that maybe because maybe some would say the music that you were making prior was not music that would be played in the dance hall, so to speak, all the right, time. Right. You know what I mean? Because which you, you, you 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 you're a rude boy, so you know yeah, what it does. Certain songs are gonna make it in a dance hall, and certain song is not gonna make it in dance hall. Just like that. But these songs that you're making is radio, they're dance hall, they're they they're everything, you know. And with the support that I, I, I'm sure that you're going to get from the dancehall fans and the reggae fans and the people in the diaspora, it's, it's so disappointing sometimes when there, the support is there, but we're not able to see you. Mm. You know, we, we, I forgot my not and forgot to see you in a look up, uh, mm. in, in a, the top venue then, but we can't mm. see you in a no, our no, thing, you know? Tell no, yeah. Anybody want to know me, tell us, I'm going to go anywhere. See? Anytime. By myself. See? Yeah, I know. As I say, I know walk in a bungle, I know walk in a crew. It's a real youth, my brother. You know what I mean? So if you know somebody at you, I don't know say it I go on, I'm gonna get no invitation. But I go oh. anyway, anytime. Definitely a good vibes, man. Um, the the album. Looking forward to it. What's your favorite track on the album? Uh, the whole of them. Whole of them. <laughs> oh, favorite no one. favorite track. <laughs> whole of them are my favorite. When you know, was it? I have one on the release yet. I'm going to uh, I'm send it to you right now if you get a pre-release. Very, very... Can, can, can very we play strong. it? Can, can you get yeah. it to me right yeah, now man. so we can play it right now? Right now? Send it to me? Yes, yeah, send it to, yeah, send it me. Send it to me. I'll check my email right yes. now. <laughs> yeah, is that... Um, yeah, I'm the right, the right, the right one. Is it the right one? Make sure that he's talking about the one that you're talking about. 
We are. We are. We are. Yeah, the mix version. Let me think. All right, yeah. mix version. What, what, what makes yeah, this one so so special? Kim I mean, that song is coming at a time when we're facing so much, so much issues. You know what I mean? Yeah. Social issues, racial issues, um, religious issues, all kind of issues we're facing right now. And, you know, this song is me, um, Matisse Yahoo, and Gentleman. Yes. Wow. Right. And, and, and the message, you know, the, 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 the message behind the song and what the song means and, you know, the collaboration, I think, is really a strong message. It shows a, a unified front and it, 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 this is a song that, you know, for me, it shows that we can, we can be united, my brother. We are, you know what I mean, the keepers of the light. We, the people, keep looking to the politicians to make a change when we are the one with the power to make the change. You know, and so, yes, yeah, so you have... Matthias Yahoo is Jewish, you have a gentleman who is a German, and you know that history. And then you have me, like a Rasta youth out of Jamaica. So, yeah, powerful song. This one means a lot to you on the album. Yeah, man, means a lot. Definitely. So, so th- we're, we're the first one playing this song. First time it's a play. First time it's a play. First time it's a play. See, see, come on, when you tell me them things, you know, I get excited. You know, <laughs> first, 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 first. When you tell me, say, I'm the first one to play them songs, I get excited. Yeah, I'm like, for Brock and Sam, you're the first one to play them songs. Yeah, man, you're the first one. All right, cool. Drop it here live on Soundtrack Radio. Come on, Imali's in the building. First time played on radio. Yeah. What is you? Come on, Imali. And Jen, come on. All right. It's called We Are. We Are. Who, who, are, who are behind the, 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 the rhythms in the, on the album? A uh, few producers, you know. Few you producers, yeah. Great rhythms. Regular there. names or did you go out and some pick regular your... Regular name, you know, me and my team produce a few of them. And, you know, just some regular little youth who have some talent and have some wow. nice tracks. You, do you play instruments? Yeah. What do, what do you play? I play around by everything, you know. <laughs> 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 I mean, get to play a little piano and I'm ready to play my guitar, you know what I mean? play the drum set you used to play the trumpet in other what, what was that part of your childhood or is it something that you earned um, learned when you got older i'm gonna tell you what i used to make me take piano lessons and guitar lessons when i'm young and them saturdays there was like the worst time of my life <laughs> 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 you know what i mean coming if i grew up things uh, music was going to be you know what i mean my my a part of my destiny well my destiny you know what i mean and so you know, more much rather the other park, I, I, I shoot the basketball, I play some football or something. And, you know what I mean? But I give thanks because it, 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 it really give it, teach me the basics. See? So now I can't pick up anything and get loaned on it. So it, it, it work out. You've done a song with <coughs> Matus Yahoo's. Yeah. I, I hope I'm promo- Matis um, pronouncing it. Matus Yahoo. Matus Yahoo. Right. right? Yeah. Also, gentlemen. And, um, I got to ask you this because it's something that we, we, we speak about here. It's something that yeah. is lingering in the industry. The fact that many of our reggae artists are now feeling that, you know, the, the white bands and the reggae bands outside of Jamaica mm-hmm. seem to be dominating the charts mm-hmm. and dominating the industry. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about rock that? rock and roll and everything else that, you know what I mean, was created by us. So, I mean, what, what, there's nothing to... F- what you can't feel is music. You know what I mean? Nobody no own the music. Sin. Yeah, so if me want to play some rock and roll, what? I can't play it because I'm not white. No, if, uh, you know, if... Reggae music is a music that, is, that inspires, you know. Reggae music is a music that is about the upliftment that, 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 that from that, that grassroots people, you know. So anybody who is coming from that kind of liberty, that kind of upbringing, and... and is in tune with them spirituality. Of course, them go and gravitate to reggae music. So we can't, we can't go so, like so you, a we alone. You or welcome singer. all singers of reggae. Of course, I would be foolish not to. And who am I not to anyway? I, I, I you know what I mean? We just have to remember. Say, we have the joy of 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 being the innovators, the creators right. of this music. You know what I mean? But this music belongs to the world, it's just like a child. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have we, we parent that child growing up, but once that child reaches manhood, he belongs to the world. He belongs to go, go out there and do whatever it is him 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 him, him, him choose. You know what I mean? And it's no different from the music. We create the music, we put it out there, people love it. And that is what it's about, my brother. That is a part of what is keeping reggae music on the forefront. Even though we're not getting the radio play. You know what I mean, that we deserve. 
we're still out there and it's a music that cannot die and, and, and a part of that is all of the other um, cultures that embrace this music. When, when speaking to some <coughs> of your, your colleagues, people who are artists and so forth who are in the music, mm. they, they often quote your dad and, and many of them use different quotes. Um, I've heard one say that um, where Bob says, play it on the R&B. Meaning that, you know, in, in that conversation, it was like they were saying that Bob predicted that this music would be boundaryless. Um, mm-hmm. Also, with Morgan Heritage, they often quote um, that reggae would just be scattered until it reaches its rightful people. Um, is there any quote that your dad has said that you, you know, it's your favorite quote, something that you live by? Oh, my God, so many quotes. Favorite quote? Could I say more of a favorite quote? Come like you asked me that, I make me just go blank. <laughs> <laughs> could, oh, could we yes, narrow it to yes. music? One of his favorite quotes yeah. about the music. Because it's it, it it's now pretty much being said well, that he visioned this global phenomenon for reggae way before it, it happened. Well, you know, you know what is it? You know what is interesting. Is that my old man said? He said, I'm going to get tired of seeing face. <clears throat> and then he said, This music will live on and on and on and on forever. And we can see that is exactly what is taking place right now. I know all we know this, you know, for me, it's always, it's always such a moment when. You can go out and you can see, you, know, you, you, you have your little YouTube sensation, then you have this little, and I'm calling him the Bob Marley baby. But it's always so, such a, for me, such a wonderful experience each and every time you can see a little four-year-old or a five-year-old um, recite a Bob Marley song from start to finish. And, 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 and I almost feel that song and, 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 and it's very much a part of that song from, from such tender age. So, you know, so this music... It, it's, I was saying the other day, you never really hear nobody pick up and say, yo, I'm going to play some old, some oldies and put in a bob. You will never hear that. This music, and not because it's my father, I'm, I'm quite sure you, my brother, share the same experience. This music is ever fresh. You know what I mean? No matter which year, from, from them release till now, it's like you can't put them up against anything and them stand firm the same way. See. You know what I mean? Production-wise, it, it, it sounds like what is happening or what should be happening right now. You know what I mean? And so that is, that is it. I'm going to get tired for some fears. Can't get me out of the race, eh? Right. <laughs> is, is there any <clears throat> artist out there right now, whether mm. reggae or not, that you would love to do a collab with? Wow. I mean, so many artists. I mean, like name artists from love do, what more I like work with, you know, because I don't want... And next one, for hear it and feel as though, well, yo, I'm asking my name. But there are some. Yeah, me enjoy making good music. So anybody who enjoy making good music, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm always open. You know what I mean? Always open to recording, always open to creating. And that's all it is for me, my brother. Just, just good music. Seems like you have now well, become your own businessman because the label that you're on <laughs> yeah. is yours. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's called um, Confrontation Music. Confrontation Music. How did that come about? Why did you feel that you wanted to start your own thing and control your situation? Yeah, I think that is just where the industry is at right now, you know what I mean, and everything that's taking place. You know, and the next thing is that, you know, for me it's important to be able to own my work, you know, my, my blood, sweat, and tears, you know. It, 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 it's, it's a hard thing for you to... Putting all the energy in something and you know you hand it over to somebody else for years so them own it and you know if you're you grew up one day and decide say more sing over one of them daddy song them are sample a thing you must go somewhere else to get the clearance when <laughs> which party must go never dead when we did I, 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 I beat it and I sleep on studio floor and you know what I mean right so it's just about you know being able to own my catalog my brother and being able to to give um, others the opportunity. You know, for me, it, it, you know, a lot of people think sometimes the Marley name that like, there was a silver spoon, you know, but we come up through a time to when, you know, me did one, I, I, 
wanted that opportunity, wanted, had things to say and wanted someone to listen. You know what I mean? And sometimes some people may take it as, well, my mother, I'm a bit of it. You know, so I'm not need a chance. Uh, right. When really and truly, I, I, I really did. So it's a ble- <laughs> blessing and a curse at it the can, same time. It can be. It can be. It can be. Because people feel that <clears throat> give someone else a chance because right. you already have it. Right. You, you, you're good. Right. But at the same time, you needed that chance that was given I to someone that else. Chance. Yes. You know what I mean? And so, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's the most joyful time I have in, a, in, in my life. I'm a fine, a lot of my joy outside of my children is being able to put a smile on someone else's face. You know what I mean? To be able to, 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 to help uplift someone, to be able to maybe expose someone to a talent that them not even the most of them have. You know what I mean? So, creating confrontation music was really about owning my own catalog and also about, you know, so you're gonna be working opening with, doors. With other artists? Yeah, that is, that is what it is about. Oh, so it's not only about Kimani, no, no, the no, artist. no, no, it's, Kimani it's is one of the on. artists. Wow, yeah. wow. So you're gonna Come bring on, on and sign Absolutely. artists and produce artists Absolutely. and so forth? Absolutely. Slowly but surely. You Let's go I mean? to another track from Kimani <laughs> Mali. Big up to everybody, of course, who is tuning in. Kimani, got to say thank you so much for passing through the studio. Perfect, thank perfect you better. for, you know, many people, as Ninja and I said, them said them all pass through, but they, they, they don't through. pass yeah, through. Yeah, see but you're here in living color. You yeah. say that. Events, <laughs> some events, I come over here. Before you leave, we have to follow the soundtrack tradition right. here, and I hope you Traditions. are... Willing to participate. What up, what up? We do what we call rhythm up. Rhythm up. Yeah. Rhythm up. So we just play a rhythm. Yeah. And you I just, just sing do whatever, whatever you want, you want to it. sing on it. You understand? Whatever you want to give a new release, it's old a, release, It's a tradition. Anything. And people here at Soundchat Radio look so much forward to it. You would be disappointing the world. <laughs> <laughs> and then, they must stop listening yeah, to me and say, yo, we know what I'm at. Kimani, read him up. You understand? Kimani Marley's in the studio, man, yeah. and we're about to do read him up. I'm Turn up your... I'm from Earth. I'm going to play on paper, you know, yeah, yeah, like well, a freestyle well, spot. Let me hear it. Then. Well, you just, just, just sing something we're you know, ready. Yeah. Sing anything. Sing anything. Sing a new thing. Sing anything. Ready? So, this is called... Read him up. Read him up with Kimani Mali. Any read him. <laughs> Any read him. How you feel about that? <laughs> hey. Oh. Why oh, may I get it now? Some. some. One of my beat them just me set up in my CR and them Hear them run them out, okay, gunshot and make me park them Fool, you think you're bad, well then come on, start the war dead You beat that you from the end of West and Ben Laden Pressure start from reach the boy, Kuya, call the sergeant So long in a station like him, but then you are dead Next time you sight a humble warrior, better you pass him Dangerous, deadly consequences if you cross him Bad man for them, not so I'm not trying to bust thing. Built as a warrior, Rastafari everlasting This is Kibana Mali passing through, but just chanting Sign them come, come up my blast him BAM 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 Kibana, Kibana, you give a piece of DNA Give a piece of DNA, 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 DNA Dear God, I have a letter here for me to dad And I want you to know my be a little sad Dear God, let you hear from me to dad And I want to let you know Dear God, I really didn't get to know Sometimes I sit and wonder when it makes me blue It's a song you're not off with dear dad <laughs> And a dear dad with him is John wow. After wow. my doing something so hot to know me Wow <laughs> man. <laughs> man, yo. Didn't know you could DJ, man. Yeah, yeah, anything. Freestyling with it. One stop shop. Freestyling with it. Freestyling. Father's dear forward says the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Kimani, man, thank you so much for yeah, passing man, through, man. It's definitely a pleasure. Thank you, 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 thank record label yeah um feel free to send us the music yeah. of the artists that you're working we'll with and you know, yeah, man, support we'll support definitely what you're doing I vic ray that. thank you so much for passing through man thank yeah. you so much for passing through 